President Ronald Reagan likened America to a shining city on a hill. But since the Obama administration took office, talking about American greatness and exceptionalism has almost been frowned upon. Mark Martin caught up with an Australian who's trying to bring back that optimism and hope. There has never been a nation like America. Whether it's through public speaking or TV appearances. My message is really resonating. I'm striking a chord with Americans. Or through his books. Australian Nick Adams' message is clear. America is exceptional. What makes an Australian write several books on American exceptionalism? It's a great question. I have always been fascinated by America. I find America a compelling place. I find its people exceptional. I find its culture exceptional. It's individualism, not collectivism. It's optimism, not pessimism. Limited government, not nanny state. It's patriotism, not relativism. American exceptionalism became a hot topic of debate when President Obama downplayed the phrase on his first trip overseas. I believe in American exceptionalism, just as I suspect that the Brits believe in British exceptionalism and the Greeks believe in Greek exceptionalism. I think that concerns about the Obama administration and the course that they are taking America are well-founded. There is little doubt, I think, to any objective analyst that President Obama is seeking to Europeanize America, for want of a better term. He's seeking a Western European socialist state. He sees America as just another country and wants to take it down a peg. And I think that those things are not healthy for America. If you had one piece of advice for Americans, what would that be? To remain the most patriotic, optimistic, libertarian, confident and religious nation in the world. To exercise fidelity to your constitution, to the Declaration of Independence, to the visions of your founding fathers. Everyone's heard of the American dream. And that's the one dream that we need to foster and we need to encourage and we need to nurture and we need to protect with every ounce and fibre of our body until our last breath has left us. Mark Martin, CBN News.